Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John, and Mama. Mama Tootsie here, a.k.a. Francis the Tipper Lady. Uh, we are having breakfast. Mama's idea. Simple. I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, Mama, tell them what you're going to have. I've got, it's just a lazy way. This is Hungry Jack Pancake Mix. And it says a cup of uh, the mix, if that's what that is. Here's what she's using, in case y'all are wondering. Hungry Jack Complete Buttermilk Pancake Waffle Mix. Does that say milk or water? I'm putting milk. I believe it says water. Where? Uh, Three-fourths cups of water. Well, I'm using milk. Milk, yeah. It's whole milk, so I'm using it. Whole milk. That's three-fourths cups of milk. And all I'm going to do is mix this up. See, it's scratchy. It's that coating on the inside of the bowl that keeps it from looking scratchy. What next, Mama? And just mix it just a little bit more and pour your blueberries in there. And I no think, egg? No. This is the complete mix, it's called. Oh. I'm lazy. I think I'm just simple stuff. It makes good pancakes and waffles. No harm in this. You want me to pour all these blueberries? Well, just pour part of because I was just These are frozen. Frozen blueberries. Now these will be pink, won't they? Yeah, it don't matter. Some people want some perfect the little blueberry stand out but the the blueberry part just gives it flavor i agree mama look at that how pretty purple mm. pancakes for supper tonight there ain't nothing wrong with the purple pancake now we no. have we have them here often that's like the pimento cheese i don't drain that juice mm -hmm. it's flavor Keep that juice. And if you'll fry those, I'll check those eggs right quick. Okay, she's got eggs over here to have. Is that going to be too hot, you think? I don't believe so. Once you get pancake, you may have to. But I'm going to go get my other bowl and stuff and start on the eggs. You don't want to do too big of pancakes. I like them little ones myself, the silver dollars they call them. Yeah. Right there. We'll have pancakes in just a few. I'm going to check on the sauce and then I'll come back and check the Okay. We'll just let these little pancakes here cook away while you're checking sausage. Good evening. Good morning. It's breakfast time. Y'all slept through it and didn't even know it. If you eat breakfast tonight, you don't have to get up early in the morning. You've already got breakfast out of the way. Uh, right I'm a step ahead lunch. of you. Just got... Your mama says you can start right out with lunch. Just got food, eating, meatloaf, cream mash... Oh, well, that sounds good, Geneva. Um, Janelle, sorry. That I misread we had meatloaf the other day, but you know what? If Mama fixed another meatloaf right now, I'd eat it because I love meatloaf. Hello, John and Mama. Did I stop y'all? I think I did. What are y'all up to? It is cloudy, overcast, kind of rainy, but not full out rain today. It's been that in between where you decide it was going to rain any minute. And it's a cooler. It's 74 at 7 o'clock, but it was cooler earlier. Last night it got really cool. Did y'all get cool where you live last night? Hey, John and Mama. Thank you for those stars. Who sent those? Hey, Susan. Howdy, John and Mama. Well, howdy, Ricky. How are you? Hey, from Jellico, Tennessee. Well, Brandy. Who is that? Brandy Sutton, you're right here in Jellico. She sure enough is neighbor. She sure is a neighbor. Now, let's look at our pancakes. Check them out. Look how pretty. And you seen how big I made them? Not very, but they have swollen up. They're doing their thing. 
but they're not ready to turn yet. They're starting. When you get ready to turn, you'll have these bubbles all over. Just let it sit. Just let it do its thing. Mama, this spatulas. Not doing good. Well, I just got better on it. I don't want to. Oh. You know me. I hate a mess. I'm going to take all that off. So I can get a cleaner flip on it. What do you think? Yeah, you can get that other one. What if we do with here? Oh, uh, Mama, I don't want to dirty up two things. You want these other two eggs? Yeah, I just couldn't carry them in my hand when I done it. Have y'all ever seen a wrinkle in an egg? That's a country egg, and look at that wrinkle. Can y'all see the wrinkle in the top? Hmm. I guess all eggs are pretty much made the same way, but country eggs just taste so much better. To me. Some people can't tell a big difference, but now they bake better. Oh, we've got a lady in town. She won't bake if she ain't got country eggs to bake with. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the, our eggs in here. Yes. Okay, let's scoot it over. Come on. It's a sizzling. Oh, I need to get your plate. Get two plates, Mom, and I'll just put them on our plates. Okay. That'll save, save yet another plate. dish. That'll save a plate. Can you handle those? I can. Put them some horse. I can. Pancakes at night are one of our favorites because to be honest if you eat high sugar first thing in the morning it kind of I don't we just don't do well with it, it kind of makes you feel groggy and kind of sick to your stomach so if you wait till you're gonna be laying down anyway it seems like it settles better you can see I can push those around so that means they're done on bottom. I think. I'm going to let that set another second. Let's see what this one. See how brown? How good? Let's let that set a second over there. Because he was not. Mm-mm-mm. He was not wanting to turn. Whoa. Did you see that blueberry pop out there? It got a little warm. Where did it pop to? It is popped on the top here. Oh. <laughs> but it jumped out of the pancake. Out of the pancake. Huh? It didn't want to stay for it. Look at those blueberries. Well, they're all successfully turned. That's a good thing, <laughs> ain't it? They didn't turn totally purple, Mama. They still look like a pancake. Now Mama's mixing up eggs over here <coughs> for breakfast. <laughs> breakfast time, breakfast time. Good old, good old breakfast time. Yes, ma'am. Say when and how. Say when and how. You can judge it better than I can. How's that? Sounds good to me. Looks good to me. I'm pouring about a tablespoon or so. A tablespoon of heavy, not heavy. I don't know why. Can cream. Evaporated, Evaporated milk. Evaporated milk, king cream, we call it. Not heavy. You could use heavy whipping cream, or you could use um, coffee made, or whatever you choose to use. You peppered. Did I pepper you? Sorry, Mama. You want some of that coffee to wash it down? Now, when we put those blueberries in there, these aren't may not be like your usual harder pancake. They may be a little softer. Those are doing their thing, folks. So, what are y'all up to? What are y'all eating? Chicken and baked beans, chicken dumpling supper. Oh, Patricia, you're making me hungry. 
this um, breakfast sounds delicious, but so does all this other stuff. What do you fry your pancakes in? Butter, Susan? We fry them in butter because, you know, you always put butter on them. That just puts the flavor right in there. And then if you want to add a little bit of butter, you can. But most of the time, you, they, we, don't add we don't have to add any butter because they're already buttery and syrupy. We put, we're going to use this morning original syrup. Uh, Cracker Barrel uses something, and they are so good. I wonder what they use. So they can show us what they are cooking better. Carolyn? Oh, here's a question. It says, why do y'all cook on your... Oh, why don't we cook on the regular stove? Well, it puts Mama over there when she's doing stuff like this. And then I have to move you all, take you over there with the camera. So it just works out better to have one right here in front of us. And um, it works pretty good. Sometimes it ain't as hot as... The regular stove but we make it work um, even sometimes we'll start it over there and finish it over here works out great but um, just so we can film better it's hard to film it's harder to film cooking than you would think if you don't believe me just try it sometimes on your you cell phone it, like you say a camera crew, camera crew. right because there's a lot of movement goes on um, when you're cooking, you don't even realize a lot going on there. All right, Mama, yep. eggs are yours. Get a paper towel, Oh, the blueberries won't hurt the eggs. Blueberries and eggs, Dad used to always put grape jelly in his. I need the more butter in it. A little, little bit of the spatula here. Right here. Well, it didn't want to measure this right. I'm going to turn that down a notch for eggs now. might have to turn it back up so I can make pizza down there in the refrigerator. Do y'all use butter for your eggs or do you use something else? We usually use butter for scrambled and grease, baking grease. Or if we want to be healthier, we'll use olive oil or avocado oil for our fried eggs. But I like to, even if I use avocado oil or uh, olive oil, I put a little bit of baking grease for flavor, and that works. If you're trying to cut back on that, it works to use a little bit of baking grease to flavor and use a healthier oil also, I guess for volume. Now this is scrambled eggs. We're not making a sandwich out of these. You're what? I'm going to go get my tea. Okay. Uh, we're not going to eat these on a sandwich so we'll scramble these up but I'll still push them around because I don't like them to get brown I like them to just to stay good and yellow and fluffy with a little bit of blueberry in them that's fine but I'm just gonna push them around to keep the cooked egg brought up off the bottom and let the, the uncooked egg um, I'm going to drink coffee for sure. Now, whether I have a sip of tea or not, that could happen too. But I'm definitely drinking coffee. You can't have pancakes without coffee, can you? I mean, yeah. who would do a thing like that? Huh? I'd have tea. You doing hot tea or cold tea? Cold. Just cold. Now, this burner is cooling down. So I'm going to turn it up just a notch. You hear it pop, that means the thermostat's kicking it in. Now when they get like this and they're pretty firm and they're pretty well um, holding together and you're not splitting them up, but just you get the glossy on top, this is the time you turn them. You just want to get up under there good. And turn them right over. Now it goes really quick. So you want to turn those. Let's throw them back around here. And you want to turn these back. Turn those. Turn these. Definitely turn these. They need to turn up.
Okay. These eggs are just about ready to come done. One more turn on a few of them here to get the bossy going. And they're done. I don't want them burnt. I don't want them brown. That's one of your pet peeves. You did not like I don't even really like brown omelets. I know that's a thing people are okay with, but not my liking. You got a bowl, we'll put these in it though. We'll, we'll just leave them on there. We'll they'll brown. Oh, that's And I'm going to do some more pancakes. Alright, folks. They're done. They're done and ready to go. Done, done. Eggs are done, done. We can eat. This is a quick supper. Easy supper. And it's really not bad for you. The syrup would probably be the bit worst part. Because a little bit of pancake batter ain't going to hurt you. Because it's like a bread, but not a big thick biscuit. I believe you. I believe we'll have to. <laughs> I believe we will have to. So there's the eggs. Perfectly golden yellow. Fluffy eggs. Adding a little bit of milk or a little bit of water even. In your eggs will make them fluffier. Someone said the other night that it made their milk made them denser. That could be. But I, I don't really find a big difference in it. But what it does is it creates that water vapor in there, that liquid vapor, milk or water, either one. I guess the milk would be the flavor. But it creates that vapor and it causes steam. And it pushes those eggs up and makes them steamier, which makes them fluffier. And makes them good. This is fast, so that look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mama said, you ain't using that one no more. Well, it had eggs all over it. Well, this will have eggs too. I'm going to put a little bit more butter in here. Can y'all see this? And then I'm going to add... Now these pancakes have risen a little bit. If you got your burner on high, you know. That's it. That's set up. That won't be too big. Ooh! Johnny. Too big for what, Mama? Too big for pancakes. That's like a cake. Well, that'd be good. Are you going to need something against cake? Huh? Do you have something against cake, Mama? Uh, not against cake, but against the pancake. It's big as a... Well, this will be your dessert pancake. Are there a difference? Maggie might end up with a bite of one of them. These are the little ones over here. Warm, warm, warm. Don't warm it. syrup. We always put our syrup in the microwave. Let it get that last little bit of warmth going. So tonight's menu is eggs and uh -huh. Eggs and sausage and pancakes. Some of y'all had that the other night. I want my water in this. So we can and I thought, I think that's on our menu before long because we love breakfast at night. And we do it more in the winter, honestly. I don't know why. Do you, Mom? No. Unless it's just, it's dark so early and you just want to eat and curl up in front of the fireplace. Okay. Breakfast, lunch, dinner is served. Look at this. Now I'm going to put this warm syrup, layer it under here. Did I get you a napkin? I got yeah. two somehow, Mom. Right here's one. I got us one while ago. Now I'm going to tell you a cheat that I do. Lift your pancake up and I'll put it underneath it for you. I'm going to tell you a cheat no, that I just... just Pull me a little bit right there on the edge of mine because I don't. Mama's cutting back on the syrup situation. So sometimes in the morning, I don't, 
I want pancakes and syrup and eggs and and I uh, Ooh, you that goof girl <laughs> and I uh, will um, kind of cheat and I'll just make eggs and maybe a piece of sausage and then I'll just take a little bit of pancake syrup and eat with my eggs and it's almost like having a pancake because you get that maple flavor you get your eggs and you get your sausage so you can cheat just a little bit and not have that pancake first thing in the morning but uh Pancakes are better. <laughs> Let's bless it, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies. And dear Lord, we just ask you to be with those hurting in the world, dear Lord, and be with all the prayer requests, those that have been spoken and unspoken. And Lord, just put a hedge of protection about all of us and just watch over us, watch over our country. And lead, God, and direct us in your will and your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. It's pancake time. Mama, I can't wait to try these. Delicious blueberry pancakes. Ready for a blueberry. Now sometimes we'll do apple cinnamon pancakes. Sometimes we'll we have put just apple sauce over it with cinnamon in it. Those are good. Warm apple sauce. Mmm. It's like the best blueberry muffin warm with some maple syrup. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, y'all. These are just frozen blueberries. If you are lucky enough to find some fresh ones, those are good too. Those are really better. I mm -hmm. like the fresh ones. But I rinsed these earlier and let them thaw out before yeah. I put them in here. So yeah. they're about like a fresh one. Really, to be honest with you, I thought those were fresh ones. Mm -hmm. And they don't taste any different. Go with the frozen. It's easier. Do y'all make frozen, um, what they got for um, smoothies with blueberries? You can't beat that either. I like to use frozen blueberries for smoothies because you get, you can use the blueberries like ice. Mmm. Mama. Eggs are delicious. Pancakes are delicious. Sausage are delicious. All oh, so good. I froze you all up. Round and round she goes where she's not. I must have really froze you all up. My goodness. Love breakfast supper. We do too. I had pancakes for dinner too. I had pancakes. I love pancakes for Jess. I love them. I want a lot of butter and syrup on mine. Well, I didn't put any butter on mine, but we we cook them in butter, so it tastes like it's had butter on them. I mean, it's got well, that it butter. Well, I mean, it has had butter, but. Tasted like I would if I'd added, you know, a pad of it and let it melt on top of it because it's cooking all in it when you're cooking it. And then, too, that keeps them from tasting greasy. What do you all cook your pancakes in? Oh, honey. That's good. Pancakes and honey. Mm -hmm. I says, Mama's bangs look extra good tonight, and that top is lovely. Well, um. <laughs> Thank you. Holly. She didn't get wet today, was her secret today. <laughs> I didn't play in the rain today. She got wet yesterday, and she was fussing because I let her come on here with flat hair. I said, it looked good to me. She looked herself in the camera and she says, well, I didn't know my hair was so flat. Why did you tell me? I said, because I really didn't notice. I thought it looked good. Mom, I don't go around judging your hair. When we're going to be on here, you need to. You need to say, whoa, whoa, go brush that head. Well, Mama, there ain't nobody here but us. Mm-hmm. Just your friends. I 
How do you think about them pancakes? They're good. I was hungry. Did you not eat again today, Mama? No, I ate. Did you eat? I ate leftover peas. <laughs> I had a little bit of pimento cheese for lunch. Mm. I did make an omelet this morning with spinach. Early. You ever make omelets with fresh spinach? Mmm. I put my butter in the skillet. I put my salt and pepper in that butter. And I used a little bit of steak seasoning or anything with a little zip to it for my omelets. And usually Montreal steak seasoning. I sprinkled it in that hot butter and it got all those flavors bloomed out. And I put just a little bit of onion powder because I didn't want chopped onions and I didn't want a lot of onion. <clears throat> But it gave me that flavor and I knew it wouldn't hurt me. And then I put a big old handful of spinach. And I let that cook down, wilt down. Mm. Then I added just a little bit of um, a sliced Roma tomato. And I didn't chop it, I just sliced it and laid it in there flat. Then I put um, uh, a pepper jack cheese, a slice, and I just pinched it up and put it on there. Sprinkled me a little bit of Mexican cheese, a mixed kind. Let that on there. Got all that cook and it just about got melted in the shrimp. The spinach went way down. And I had a sausage patty left over and our mama did. Do you notice how I ate one of your sausage patties? Yeah. And I just crumbled it up and put it in there. I didn't need it. And uh, then I mixed me up three <clears throat> eggs. Beat them real good. Put a little bit of water. Beat them up again. Poured it over that mixture and just let it set. Then I folded it over. And then I like to put it in the microwave for about 25 seconds. Just to heat the inside. Make sure I didn't lose any any raw egg in there. Just in case. Because when you fold it over, sometimes it's harder to... Mm. I need just a little more syrup. It was so good. Mama, you're doing good on syrup. That wasn't even half a tablespoon while ago. That's a teaspoon, looks like. That's another teaspoon. I'm just kind of letting it cold, so I won't be over that oversweet. You won't be oversweet with that, I don't think, Mama. Mmm. -mm. I believe this is what I was wanting. Is it? Mm -hmm. There's nothing as good as what you was wanting, is there? Mm -mm. Satisfies you better. You know what you did, don't you? What did I do? Do you see a spatula? Did I see a spatula? I gave you one you was dipped in butter. And you took it. Did I take it? Of course you did, Mama. No spatula. No, you can be cooking and Mama will take your spatula right out of your hand. She don't care. Sure. I could try to flip it up in the air, Mama. Let's see you do that. I, can, I used to be able to do that <laughs> long years ago, but these are pretty big. And they're not moving. You know how I took that spatula? It was in that bowl I took the... Because your mama and you take stuff before I even get through using it? Well, I guess I do sometimes. Well, mama, the other night you was trying to take something out of my hand. What was that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you can have one back. Thank you. Look how sweet and generous. Well, this ain't ready. If you turned it back up. I just turned it up a little bit more. Well, it's going to have to go on high. Going to have to cook on high with this tonight. <clears throat> now we're doing I, a cook along. I thought I'd unplugged it like I usually do, but I hadn't this uh, time. I, you'll try to put it up before I get the skillet off. <laughs> I hadn't this time unplugged it. <laughs> Lord willing, it's Friday night, 6.30. We're having a cook-along, and we're doing a cake. Mm. All you need for this cook-along, ingredients are quite simple. You buy a cake mix, and whatever your cake mix tells you to do on the back, that's what ingredients you need. Oh, no. I know one thing it says. Use, most of them says use water, and I'm pretty sure the recipe says use orange juice. Orange juice. Instead of water. 
We better get the recipe you back out. You better get that recipe. It's in your book, ain't it? In the drawer. In my green book? I think you wrote it down in there, didn't you? Mama, you're thinking. You're <coughs> thinking I did. You probably did. Let me just look right here. But I think, I thought about that last night. I think that instead of water, what it calls for, you use orange juice. Mama, I got all kinds of recipes in this book scribbled out. Are you sure I wrote it down? Yeah. I don't know if you wrote it down or not, but you'll have to look it back up. I think it was on on a card, wasn't it? Yeah. You probably put that card in your card file. Mm -mm, it's not. It's We'll, well, I don't it find it. Okay. For tomorrow. It ain't in that Mama says she'll let y'all know tomorrow for, for sure. But anyway. That's what come to mind. I may be wrong. Anyway, get you a white box of white cake mix. Whether you put orange juice or water, you're still going to need orange juice because that's the only other two things you'll need is orange juice and white granulated sugar. And we'll make a syrup and we'll pour it over that, put holes in it. Make a glaze. Whatever your cake mix calls for, two or three eggs, you need that and oil. Mm -hmm. Yum, I can't wait. That will be wonderful. That orange cake with that glaze. I believe I've eaten those at church before. But I know we've never made one, have you, Mama? <clears throat> no, not like that. I've made an orange candy cake before, but not like that. Maybe we can make that glaze with the orange candy cake. Did you unplug this, Mama? No, sir, I did. I checked. It's kicking back on. This ain't the hottest thing I ever cooked on. I'm guilty of unplugging it just as soon as we get through with it. But tonight I did. But it's 110, so that's going to make a difference. But it just had the one burner on. It should have heated back up. I think it's got a thermostat in it that keeps it regulated, mm -hmm. but it also keeps it cool. Cause I can feel the heat from it. Well, it'll fry. I mean, it'll boil, but uh, then sometimes it don't seem to. It'll cook. We've then had one pancake or two pancakes, really. We'll probably just eat one of those and split it because no, those I'm are big. Well, I might just eat one more little bite with my eggs, is what I was thinking. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what should you ask about? Are you going to make it in the stack cooker? Well, you know, I thought about that because it would be quick. So we might put it in the stack cooker because it's just the cake. And then... Uh, you poke your holes in it afterwards. So we might try the stack cooker on it. Uh, Mama's going to use her uh, new button pan. I bought her one to keep from sticking. Because she thought the first one had turned on her after 45 years or 50. But then she decided it was because she was using olive oil spray. And I'm going to get some Baker's Joy. Mama, you need to get some Baker's Joy before. Our store down here don't have it. I've looked. Do they have an off brand of it? No. Something like Baker's Happy Hour or <laughs> Baker's Smile or something. Well, we'll try to find us. You could go with old timey Crisco and flour. Yep. Vicky, we may have to go back to the stovetop. It's not heating this skillet up for some reason. It's showing on, and I feel heat, but I see no action. Somebody keeps picking it up. <laughs> but it's not moving. That butter's not moving. May have to go back to the big stove. Glaze orange. It's orange juice and, and sugar, and you cook it, don't you, Mama? Mm-hmm. We'll get that recipe up for tomorrow and try to have it everything lined out. 
I may be totally wrong, but I think I read quite a few recipes, but I think you use orange juice instead of water. It's a cool rainy day here today, too, but it's 73 now. It's warmer now than it was earlier. Yeah, but it wasn't warm earlier. It's 56 one time I noticed today. Amazon for Baker's Joy. I wonder if it'll be here by Friday. can't see it says. I've got to know what will I spray with it. Are y'all talking about something? I don't know. Maybe we've got a troll on here. If we have trolls, just ignore them. I can't see what y'all are talking about, but I've seen some comments about it's not the time or place for that talk. So remember, positive only. None of that asking people out. And don't be spreading negativity. We don't, this ain't the place for that for sure. It sure is sad day, I'm so. Oh, somebody was killed, what's going on? Mike, are you saying 99 people were killed in Northern Carolina? What? California. I have not watched the news. I have not even had the TV on. If something's going on in the world, I don't know about it. Is It is a 97 North California. Has there been something major happen, people? Prayers for Texas? Folks, I'll have to get out from here and check it out and see what uh, is going on in the world. Because I've not heard of anything. Let's just pray for everybody. If something's going on, if 90 some people have been killed anywhere, if one person's been killed, let's let's get let's keep them in prayer. That's or their families. That's is something going on? Texas, what happened in Texas? Eighteen kids. Texas homage. Oh no. Was there a Texas shooting, school shooting in Texas? Eighteen elementary kids did. Oh, Becky. Fourteen children and one teacher killed in Texas. Oh. Well, let's definitely remember all those folks. That breaks my heart. Let's just remember everyone that is elementary school. Oh, no. Let's just stop what we're doing right now and let's just pray for those folks. Dear Heavenly Father, whatever's going on in these school shootings, this one and, and whatever puts it in their mind, dear Lord, we just pray that you'll take care of it. Take that away from them. Be with each and every family member that's been affected by this, each and every person. And just surround them with your love and comfort. And we just pray for the evil, dear Lord, that it'll go away. And dear Lord, we just pray that people's hearts and minds will be changed and they'll come to understand a little better and to know you but lord each and every family in these precious babies that were taken today lord and this adults all be with them be with them their families be with each and every one of them lord because we ask these things in your name amen folks i didn't know any of this was going on i apologize we wouldn't have been talking about breakfast and we would have been more concerned for our fellow people. There's been a 
shooting in the school, 14 children were killed and two teachers oh were done. Where we said a little prayer moment. Folks, that just, that just tires me up. You know, babies just, you know, they just get up and they put their favorite outfits on and they don't think about nothing going wrong because the world ain't supposed to be made that way. And then something like that. 18 children and, two, and three adults. And that's just those that have passed. We don't know who all may be involved. How many may have been shot or, or hurt. or And then what just the psych... They said Texas. Texas. And then just the psychological trauma to those who just were there. They'll never get over it because they're hearts. It is heartbreaking, Donna. Folks, we've got a lot to pray about in this world. We've got a lot to think about. And we just pray. You know, this used to never be an issue. And now far too often it is an issue. Far too often we find ourselves watching tragedies like that unfold. Let's pray for each and every one of them. Continue to pray for them and we're going to get out from here and uh, go see what's going on and you all just remember all these folks that have been affected and remember kids that will be in school tomorrow remember you know and, and I know it sounds strange but pray for the next person that is even thinking about doing something like that that God will change their hearts and their minds before we even have to hear about it that they'll come to know him and, and that they'll turn that evil off um, but let's pray for all of them. Just, just I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It just, I just can't believe that we've yet here we are again with that kind of 18 year old shooter. 18 a years kid old, Sandy. A kid killing kids. That's so kid killing kids. 18 years old. Shot his grandmother before going to the school. Hmm. folks we're going to go and uh, you all pray tonight and lift these folks up and just pray for our nation and pray for all these things that are going on and um, we'll we'll see you all tomorrow um, and we'll we'll uh, I don't know what we'll be into tomorrow but we'll we'll try to see you all tomorrow Lord willing I didn't know Oh, yeah, Lisa, that's... Uh, don't see any news. In, actually. I don't ever turn the TV on. Mama don't ever turn the TV on. We go days without turning the TV on. But normally, you know, you... I've been working stuff. I didn't have it on. Mm -mm. No. Well, folks, we're going to say good night. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you. So I don't remember all the family and everybody involved in it, any way or anyhow. And lift all the other children up because they're really going to need a lot of prayer. We're just going to leave tonight with one word, and that's pray. See y'all later. <laughs>